Hey everybody, how you all doing? Welcome back to Sonic Riders Zero Gravity Let's Play with part 5. So yeah guys, in the last part, we started the Babylon story and yeah, we've done the first three races. We've got, um, um, we've got, um, Gigan Device done with Jet and then we've got, um, Nightside Rush done with Storm and then Snowy Kingdom with Wave. So yeah, so basically all the three of those levels are basically like the Hero Story. They're not the same levels as the Hero Story, but obviously the level design's a bit similar, but obviously they've got different names and the same music, but yeah, anyway. I have to go to the next one now, so where are we going now? So Amy has gotten separated from Sonic. Can she escape her Zero Storm who is hot on her trail in search of the stone? Oh yeah. So remember in the hero story when Storm and Amy split up from the Babylon Rogues and the Sonic team. Basically this is what how they split up basically. So yeah. So obviously what the Babylon story does, it pretty much is obviously unveils all the stuff that wasn't really unveiled in the hero story, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I like that. But, yeah. We're here to settle the score from last time. Huh. Any time, Babylon Road. Cut it out, Storm. All right, Gurley. Hand over the Ark of the Cosmos. What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. Not after swiping the Ark of the Cosmos right out of our hands. Hey, hold up a minute. Girls hate guys who rush them, Jet. Rush? I'm the fastest thing in the universe. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god. Stop fucking lying. Today, no, you're not. You never will be faster. Ah. You can't even beat Sonic on a board, so good luck beating him on foot. <laughs> Sonic, we can't stay here. Looks like we'll have to do the reunion later. See ya, Jet. Hey, wait! Oops, can't let you pass. Yeah, this is what you happens then. Over that stone, lady. Hey, out of the way, buddy! I'll lose <laughs> Falcon Punch! Oh my god, she just wrecked him. <laughs> oh, Storm, you suck, man. You can't even get something off Amy, man. Amy just kicked your ass. Anyway, escape from Storm. What the hell? Oh yeah, we have to play as Amy in the Babylon story. I never got this in my Let's Play and the playthrough I did with the British Sonic. Oh no, with, yeah, the British Sonic on my second channel, which I done back in 2012. I mentioned that then as well. And when I played this game, I think to myself, why am I Amy? Is it your tech spark work? Yeah, I don't know why I'm Amy. This just makes no sense. What is she part of the Babylon Rogues now? Am I missing something? I'm getting. I don't know, man. It could have been Storm, I guess. Yeah, it would have made sense to be Storm chasing Amy, like, make sure you finish out of Amy to get the stone off her or something, but why are we Amy then? That is so weird. You know, this level's not that bad. Amy's a speed character, so once we get um, enough rings, we'll be able to do our, her grind gear change, and she'll start grinding. Yeah. Do more speed shortcuts. So we have to beat Storm. This level's pretty much like Mediotech premises, so obviously, you know, the level design's a bit different, but the music's the same and that. Just so, you know, like I said in the last part, so they're not complete knockoffs to the hero story. Like, at least, um, I'm glad that they changed the levels design a bit in the Battle of Story, so not exactly like the hero story levels. So it's obviously, you know, that would be annoying, but yeah. They did, they did this in Sonic Riders as well, um, the first one, so yeah. That's a shortcut there. Shortcut's pretty good. Pretty useful one to use when you don't have, um, enough, um, rings for grinding. I think we've got, we need to get one more ring. Yeah, it should be right now. There we go. And just go. I know a cool shortcut here, basically just keep going, like, because you just keep going, like, you'll do land this land here. Boom, perfect. There we go. This is, this is quite an easy race, so I think we'll be good. Whoa. Okay. And then grind. There we go. But yeah, guys, I don't know if I asked this in the last part, but, you know, I'll ask it again anyway. Um. Which levels do you prefer? Do you prefer the Babylon levels or the Heroes levels? Uh, to be honest, I prefer, I don't mind either of them, but I think the Babylon ones, I like them more. I think they're more challenging in my opinion, like, look at Snowy Kingdom, the last part, man, with Wave. I just about won that. Oh, that was so hard. Anyway, got top here, or oh, top bottom, but we should be okay. Get ready, here we go! Okay, shut up. Alright, let's go. Keep going. We're gonna win this so easily. We are literally wrecking them. My god. 
turn again. <laughs> so yeah, um, looking at my subscribers recently, obviously they've been racking up recently, like I'm on 726 now from like 724, so um, you know, thanks guys, I appreciate everyone that's subscribing, you know, all the new guys that are, and my old subscribers that are sticking with me, you know, I really appreciate that, you know, just, just despite me not making much stop motion stuff, you know, I've been doing a lot of the gameplay stuff recently, but you know, I will get back, like I said, we'll get back to stop motions eventually, just been a bit busy recently, so yeah, had a couple of interviews, been doing some training program for like the last three, two weeks, I've got like um, two more weeks left on that program, then you know, I should be able to get back to normal and start doing more stuff for you guys, so yeah, so yeah, I want to do that, and also what I want to do is, because uh, once I get a job and that, and I earn more money, I'm going to want to buy an Elgato so I can record on the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 3. Mainly PlayStation 4, so I can play some of the newer games of Sonic, Dragon Ball Z, whatever you guys want me to play, really. And I'll just do that, because you know, that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? But anyway, we won Medio Tech Sparkway, I think it's called, the Sparkworks, I think it's called. And the first lap was the quickest, because we had like a shortcut, probably. And yeah, we beat Storm by like 20 seconds, so yeah. We we successfully escaped from Storm. I can't even speak English. And uh, yeah, Media Tech Sparkworks. Okay, of course, we unlocked. And new mission, yeah. There's a mission mode as well, but like I said in part one, I don't know if I'll do that unless you want me to. But yeah. And this is Aquatic Capital, isn't it? Well, this is when Sonic and Tails and Knuckles are trying to get to Amy. So you'll find out more what happened here when they encountered the robot. If you remember, the robot took away the Ark of the Cosmos. Well, Storm found it in him and just took out him. I don't know. It's a bit weird. Anyway, see this. Why didn't you do that in the first place instead of having all this crap? <laughs> Amy. <laughs> that could all have been avoided if you just gave it to him in the first place. They're just thrown at him then. <laughs> but yeah, she wrecked him again. <laughs> Thanks to you, I got separated from Sonic, you big jerk. <laughs> Crystal clear, ma'am, <laughs> sir. <laughs> sir. <sighs> so I'm guessing the robot's gonna show up soon. What's that noise? Yep. <laughs> Bloody hell. Solar flare! <laughs> I'm guessing that Ark of the Cosmos Amy had to call it malfunction. I'm guessing. I don't know what else would be a more suitable excuse or reason. I don't know. But yeah. That robot's fried to a crisp like a cooking chicken on the barbecue. Ah, it's the same. This is just like the stone we found at the Gigan Rocks. So yeah, that's how um, Amy remembered Gigan Rocks. Their knuckles took them there. Them. I gotta get back and tell Jet. Why are you telling Amy that? Hey, wait! Where's Storm's board? Where's Amy's board? I right, hurry to Jet. Is it luck or skill? Storm has managed to get his hand on two more of the stones somehow. Hurry and bring them back to Jet. Oh yeah, this is like the Tempest Waterway, which is basically again the Babylon story is equivalent to um, Aquatic Capital from the heroes. So yeah. I didn't notice Storm wears glasses when he races, like goggles or something. That's pretty cool. I mean, this race can be quite hard. I don't really struggle on this. It's like another try and time trial. We're not racing anymore just by ourselves. So yeah, we've got to be careful. Oops, let me do that. Yeah, this level can be pretty tough. I hope people do it. It should be alright. We've got plenty of time. But look, it tells a long race when you have like 3 minutes and 45 seconds to do it. Bloody hell. So yeah. Keep going. Wait, why am I going this way? I can't even take that shortcut. Oh wow, I didn't know how to jump there. Yeah, knock him out. Yeah. 
Anyway, we should be okay. Now, because now we've got the motorbike. So we should be good getting taking the shortcuts. Get them off quickly. There we go. And there we go. First lap, another lap complete. Oops, jumped too early. Alright. There we go. Oh, let's do it. And also, guys, um, who's your favorite Babylon Road character? Jet, Wave, or Storm? Mine's Storm just because of how funny he is and how silly he is. You know what I mean? Like, he's not the the brightest, is he? But he's funny as well. You know, just pretty much a meathead, basically. Just all muscle and that's it. <laughs> he's funny as well. Like, he, can't, he gets wrecked by Amy, man. Oh, shortcut. Yes, sick shortcut. But yeah, that's funny. Knock these bikes out. Doom, doom, boom. Boats, sorry, they're boats. I just call these bikes. Oh god. Keep going. Come on, there's one more lap after this then. Uh. Bloody hell, Storm. Wrecking them, man. Wrecking who? What more on about? <laughs> Oh, I missed it. This time was too uh, too late. I said it's challenging, but you know, it was pretty much we're well ahead of doing it. I could take that shortcut again, but I wanted to do this one. I haven't done this one yet. Let's go. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Good. Bang, bang, bang. That's awesome. Oh, what the heck is this? These Some of these items are really bad. Like, what the hell? I can't do it. What am I supposed to do here? Jump! B, that wasn't a great jump, but C is the worst prank, isn't it? Where you don't even do anything. Ugh, it took me a while to get used to that, I remember when I first got the game, how to do tricks. But it's more simple to do tricks on here than on the, um, you know, the first Sonic Riders, which is on the PS2, Xbox, and GameCube, wasn't it? But anyway, we've done this race. Yes! And I think that'll be it for this part. So yeah, we'll end the part here. I'll make it a bit short. I think I'll do two races per part just to make it more easier so to keep track of. So yeah, anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this um, fifth part of my Sonic Riders Zero Gravity Let's Play. And um, I'll see you all in part six. So take care guys. Bye.